Hey, oh. we are live. Thank you. Thank you so much. We live. We live. We live. It is another Wednesday. Wednesday, September the 20th. Oh my gosh. September almost over. I feel like it just started. This year is going by really, really What in the it. world? Wasn't it just August? Yeah. <laughs> but anywho, this is Mind of My Own Podcast. I'm your host, Kenda, and I have these beautiful ladies with me here today. These are my special guests. <laughs> this is Savannah, and this is Tiffany. Hey. I'm going to go ahead. Look, I'm like, where am I looking at? <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for coming on the show today. Thanks for You're having welcome. Us. Thanks I, for having us. I've really been looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this. You're a whole ball of energy. Right. You're Both of, of y'all are. Both of y'all are. I love y'all. Aww. It's so crazy because her, I just keep, I kept running into her and I'm like, okay. it's man. It's man. We got to. <laughs> yes. Look, now I'm going to see you everywhere. And this, like, girl, move. And the same with you. I met you and then I right just here. kept seeing you here mm-hmm. at Sherman Phoenix. And I'm like, every time we interact, the energy is dope. Right. And it's so good. And we talk. And absolutely, I love it. I love that. Me too. You are who you are. Absolutely. I love it. You got a dope vibe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Most definitely. Thank I was you. running into her all the time. I'm like, really? aren't you? Uh, she's like, <laughs> I'm like, hey. And Milwaukee is so small. So. Oh, yes. Right. Yes. Somebody yes. knows somebody. Absolutely. One of us is probably cousins and we don't know We it. found oh, out we really? actually are. Yep. Wow, yeah. we actually are, and it's it's yeah. crazy because our families are so big, mm-hmm. huge, I so imagine. big, yeah. yeah. So it's wild. How and do we find out on a comment? On a comment on a Facebook <laughs> really? post? Okay, like hey cousin. Like, yeah, Whoa. I was talking to her, and they're like, "Wait, that's my cousin. Really, y'all cousins? Yeah, we cousins. Then we cousins. Right. It was it was one of those <laughs> moments. It was one of those moments." <laughs> So, yeah, this is great. Um, so I wanted to bring you ladies together so we can talk about womanhood. Okay. You know, what that means to us when we realize that we had entered that phase in our lives, how we define it mm-hmm. as ourselves, because um, it's it looks different for every woman. Um, yeah. You know, some of the things we experience and how we find that that inner inner energy to just right. yeah cry our cry scream our screams but then still be like okay <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and keep going you know what i'm saying like it's a challenge because every day somebody's telling us not to love ourselves Every day someone is social media is telling you to live life a certain way to have mm-hmm. goals be um you know, measurable to someone else's goals, Um, you know, that you should be at a certain point in your life, depending on your age. As a woman, you should either have kids by now or be married by now. All kind of stuff. Yeah. All kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Too much. Too much I'm sick of it. (laughs) I'm just being honest. I'm sick of it. Mm -hmm. Um, So I want to, I want to hear y'all take on, on things right now, like in, you know, in your lives and what you're doing. So I'll start with each of you um, because I feel like it looks different. And Mm -hmm. so we can learn from each other just by talking about our experiences and the way we perceive things. Most definitely. Yeah. So um, let's start with you, Tiff. Let's start with you. About women, my definition of women. Yeah. What's your definition? Okay. We're going to start off with the first one. So as a young girl, I thought it was once you got the cycle, you were a woman. I can identify with that. So, you know, yep. just keeping up with that. And that that's scary for some girls. Girl. For me, I was really scared. Like, what? How often do I got to go change these? <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is every month. <sighs> yes. Yes. <laughs> y'all then, know. You know, then as you, you know, grow and you're surrounded by other women, not just women that look like you, mm-hmm. but people like outside of your race and seeing how they look, you know, as a woman, right. like you just said, like trying to keep up and figuring out what does that look like 
for you. So now in this phase at age 38, I'm trying to redefine what is womanhood. Yeah. Um, Cause now it's like, okay, do I go based off of society standard of what I should be as a woman? Like um, feeling pressured to be married, um, you know, having children. Mm -hmm. Cause I got, whew, I got married at 21. Yeah. Young. Cause I was scared. I'm a Christian. I, I wanted to have fun yeah. and I felt like, okay, the only way I can do that is if I have a husband and then we, you know, go through life and then we have children. Cause God's going to be pleased with this. Yeah. But all that changed. I started yeah. living life. I mean, not to say that God isn't pleased with me at this stage in my life, but you know, as you grow and you see, okay, that's not really what it is. That is that Bible or is that tradition? Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, so that's... come back to me. I'm still trying to, Hey, you know what? Put a pin there. I that's got the why we're here. Version of womanhood. That's why we're here, <laughs> right? That's why we're mm -hmm. here. That's because it's, yeah. it is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Because, like you said, you thought it was this thing, but as you got older, you surround yourself with more women, right. and you realize that it continuously redefines. Right. It evolves. You evolve. You change. You grow. Yes. You develop, and your expectations mm -hmm. for yourself mm -hmm. start to unravel right in a sense right yeah and then even being raised by my mom who's a single mother and i was like oh yeah that's hard mm -hmm. so she's been at every kothi practice whenever i want to play an instrument she was going around milwaukee we were just talking about this the other day going around milwaukee trying to find me a violin a clarinet some drumsticks so i thought i could play it all <laughs> <laughs> so you know just seeing that and it's like oh this is going to be hard you yeah. know once i get to that age so but i thank her Yes, I that's love what that. Show me what a strong woman. I know that's like, right. So. I'm gonna clap for your mama. <laughs> I just want to say, I just pressed the clapping button, y'all, and y'all might not have heard it. We've been some technical difficulties a little bit with the clap. So if you didn't hear the clap, just know I was clapping for that. Right. Um, we'll clap in here, right? Yes. <laughs> clapping for that. Wow. Some things need a clap, and we need to clap for your mama. Yeah, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Who's probably at home watching? She says seven thirty, right? I'm like, here, here we go. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, right. That's for everybody. <laughs> and what about you, sis? You uh, it's so much the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like. Um, Womanhood is, I'm not going to say a puzzle because a puzzle fits somewhere and it fits, right? And mm -hmm. it stays there. Yep. I feel like womanhood is different puzzles. I'm going to say that because you can be raised by a woman and you cannot like how your mother raised you or how the mother figure raised you. And when you get out into the world and you are involving within yourself because you have the household you, you mm -hmm. have your friends, how you're trying to figure out who you are, and then you depart to them and you go somewhere else that you don't know, know anyone and you're trying to find yourself. So you got all these different pieces of womanly mm -hmm. that you you know have experienced as to what feels comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. feel like um, womanhood is what feels comfortable for you at mm -hmm. that time, at that moment. So okay. if you are a mother... You have some not so good mothers and you have mothers that's going to make it happy by any means yes, necessary right. that's and it's going to make it look easy. Yeah. So then that's a strong woman. Mm -hmm. That's a woman that's going to figure it out mm -hmm. and and learn from her mistakes at that moment, too. But then we don't pat our own steps on the back when right. we need our own pat. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't need validation, but that comes with knowing your worth and knowing who you are and being comfortable within you. So you don't need validation. If you get it, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, girl, thank you. Right. But I already got my validation. My validation is going to make me go. Mm -hmm. yes. So um, I just feel like womanhood is, is, is being comfortable in your own skin, knowing who you are. Cause there's yes. people at this age that still don't know they who they are. They still trying to find still themselves. Living yeah. For others, you're living for your kids. You're living for your mate. But what about you? What do yes. you like? What makes you go? What makes you thrive? Yes. So um, I feel like people be so caught up in their own mm -hmm. family. They don't take out the time for themselves. Mm -hmm. So that one girl wear many different hats for me. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah. So I mean I can go on and on. And yes, on. I'm a clap. <laughs> I'm a clap for that. I'm a clap. But you're not just one girl, right? I'm clapping. <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh agree with, with both of you ladies. Um at some point, you know, and because I had mentioned what's the difference between 
being a girl, because we see it all the time, people say, nah, you was with a girl. You wasn't with no woman. Right. You know, uh, yeah. when, when you talk about uh, relationships and things. So clearly people um, have established what a woman child is oh, yeah. compared to what womanhood is. Yeah. So there are childish women, right? And then mm-hmm. there are women who understand how to be a woman. Right. Um today's outlook on womanhood looks a lot different than it would have looked decades ago. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to be okay with that. Yes. Because now it has so much more meaning to it than Mm -hmm. it did when we were girls coming up. Mm -hmm. When we were girls coming up, um, we were given baby dolls. Honestly, that's when I realized what woman, that's what I associated right. womanhood with. I was given a baby doll mm-hmm. and they had them little bottles where you would tilt them upside down and they'll turn from milk to orange juice. Y'all remember them? Mm-hmm. I the, still look, like the, the damn like dolls. This. Yes. With the eyes, the eyes would go like this. You could feed them. And- yeah, they had that little hard head and that soft body. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Well, you so, know, I was convinced as a kid that I was a cabbage patch. I love and then, I uh, love what was the other one? Girls. Kid sister, when they had the 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 African American one. Yes, Kenya. Kenya wasn't there a doll named Kenya, and she had oh, African mm-hmm. attire on. Okay, I'm not. Oh, lying. y'all gotta look <laughs> on. Like, I had a Kenya, but doll. I had a, I had well, a cabbage patch. I had a cabbage patch too. That glowed. Her face glowed with the cheeks. Oh, really? yeah. this is cabbage patch. Yeah. <laughs> You just you still got it. No, I, I love I that. But that was one of my favorites. And then <laughs> I had the one that you can feed and okay. get peas mm-hmm. and all of that. Yeah, that was the more. Yeah, you put wine. the spoon in their mouth and the peas disappear. Oh yeah. Look well, now I'm so, thinking like, did I have it? Look, I'm like, I'm like, why did you get me? <laughs> right. Why well, I didn't get my no baby dad? I, I was probably trying to feed it real food. Like here's some chicken and some yam. <laughs> But I think that that's where I, and this was before I was even a teenager, at a younger age, Mm -hmm. I associated womanhood with, oh, I'm going to have a baby one day and I'm going to be somebody's mama. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that was the age where you had your little baby doll Mm -hmm. and you had your little friend and that little friend was the daddy and y'all was playing around, playing house and you had the little house. Right. We had that in school, in, in kindergarten. I remember yeah. really clearly. I remember somebody took my baby doll from me. I was not happy. <laughs> Wait, at school? Yes. How come I remember what? that? That was elementary Wait, why was kindergarten. Y'all was y'all at I was trying to tell about somebody <laughs> taking the- my baby at a young age. Did you hide it in your bag? How did they get this? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. I have so, so many questions. <laughs> listen. So to piggyback yeah. off of what you said, right? Mm-hmm. You identify um, womanhood with your menstrual. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We was taught that, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't. You identify womanhood with motherhood. Mm-hmm. with motherhood, right? Yep. I didn't. Really? Now, okay. so I knew mm-hmm. that you are becoming, a, you are a woman once you have your period, right? Mm-hmm. But 12 year olds get their they periods, right? Okay. So that yep. kind of left open questions for me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then 12 year olds also can have a baby if they have an a period, right? Exactly. True. So I was one of those children. I didn't mm-hmm. have no baby at 12, but I was one of those children that was uh, very spoiled. So when I had my child, I had so much help, so much support. Okay. Yeah. And I still had kissy mm-hmm. fits, right? Really? Like I took care of my kids. I was okay. never absent. I was there. I was doing me. Yeah. But I still was a baby of the mm-hmm. family. Mm, okay. My identify as a woman became when I don't know exactly what it was, but when I couldn't figure something out, I okay. couldn't figure it out, and I had to figure it out on your own. Like nobody, I don't know where people mm-hmm. was at, but my support wasn't there. Okay, and I don't even think that I reached out to them. Mm-hmm. I think it. I really don't know what it was because I could say, but I really think it was something that I wanted to keep to myself. I want to say it's probably something I wanted to keep to myself mm-hmm. and I had to figure it out. I had to go through mm-hmm. the, all the emotions myself. I didn't get the pep talk. I didn't have nobody fixing it for me. Wow. So I like that. That's a good point. At mm-hmm. that moment, I'm like, damn, this is what adulthood feel like. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So yeah. that never left for me. And I really can't tell you what it what it was. I really want to remember, but I can't. But from that moment on, it's been, I'm going to do whatever it is necessary to do it, especially when it's my responsibility. Mm-hmm. Right. And then cry and laugh about it later. But that's when I identified as being a woman. Yes. Go, I can identify not, with that too. Yeah, that was that was my thing because yeah. I don't know. That was yeah. maybe because I had to work it through it. And still mm-hmm. to this day, we gotta work through it. Yes. Right. So before I came here, which is so funny that you invited me to this podcast, mm-hmm. <laughs> I had I had work, appointments, child, yeah, her appointment. Uh I'm back in school now. And then here, mm-hmm. like it was like, da, 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 da. I had all, day, all different hats, all different gear for the mm-hmm. whole day. And I still made everything. Everybody was still satisfied, even though that's times has got yeah. touch, you know, not touch times has got limited, yeah. but everything was accomplished and everybody was happy. And I was able to meet everything. Cause I felt everything that was on my plate today was a must touch. Right. So being a woman and associating womanhood with, Balancing mm-hmm. oh, yes. our priorities, yes. being able to multitask, um, and still being able to collect ourselves, control ourselves. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. that's a lot. That's 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 <laughs> so much. Right, and we do it. Mm-hmm. We do it. A lot of times we don't even complain. Most of us don't complain. We just know what we have to do, right, and we do it. That's and that we do pilot it. Pilot mode. Yeah. That's that's that pilot mode. Mm-hmm. And I used to pilot like that, and I still do. But I have more self control. I stopped piloting like that when I start blowing up at the wrong people. Mm-hmm. Because it was like yes. I do 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 do, <coughs> and me. then maybe the wrong person, the wrong time, and saying the wrong thing, and I just can't take it anymore. Mm-hmm. And it's like bam. Yeah. So I learned from that, and I start piloting, but taking care of myself at that day. If I had a rough day. I'm going to do something that pleases me. I don't care mm-hmm. if it's eating a whole cake, right. taking a 45-minute shower. I don't yeah. care what that may be. Mm-hmm. Impulsive shopping. As long as I feel good at the end of the day when I lay down after I done took care of everybody, I'm okay. Right. That brings me to like more so my current definition or what I would say right now, what I feel womanhood represents for me is understanding that I owe no one an explanation. Yeah. High five across the table, girl. I don't owe you shit. <laughs> I felt that. Right. Like, Not the kids. Why? I don't care who you are. <laughs> hear me now. Hear me. As a woman. Right. Today, I don't owe anybody anything. However, mm-hmm. as a woman, I do what my heart tells me to do. Mm-hmm. I do what I feel is right. As a woman, it's taking ownership of the things I want out of life. And if I want to be considerate, then that's what I'll be. Right. If I want to support somebody, mm-hmm. then that's what I'll do. If I want to love you, then I will love you. Right. If I don't like you, <laughs> You like I got that. I'm getting the hell away from you. Like I got something to say. Womanhood <laughs> is do me, do me. What do me? How, by all means, do me. That's womanhood for me. What about you? I have. A, a, let's I'm go. A comment on what well, you said. Now. <laughs> so hold on. I have a couple of questions. Yes, right. Let's go. So that's womanhood for you. Yes. I want to ask you a question before I ask you something. So listen, yes. I want to ask you a question before I ask you something. So <laughs> listen, when you say you don't owe nobody anything, yes, I get that part. But then mm-hmm. when you start saying, you, I mean, does that include loyalty? Do that include Oh, no, love? it doesn't include unconditional my, love. No, Do that no. include, so that doesn't include that. that. I don't owe anybody an explanation for the things I want out of life. Okay. And it doesn't mean that I owe anybody any explanation for where I am in my life. I'm mm-hmm. not keeping up with no Joneses. I don't owe you <laughs> nothing. I don't have to catch up with you. Uh, no, okay. I don't have to do anything mm-hmm. to mimic you. I don't have to think like you. Most this is who mm-hmm. I am. 
And you either gonna like me and love right. me or you're not. And then you can get out of my space if you don't. It's right. okay. Yeah. okay. So I'm not defined by my company. If your company respects you, they're gonna be there anyway. Yes. So that's 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 knowing your people and setting your boundaries. If they can't Absolutely. respect that, they're not your people anyways. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, now, what's your other question? I have to ask. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute now. Yes. Hold on. Right. It's no. so funny that you said that you don't have to keep up with the Joneses. And I think about my mom um, at a young age because she wanted me to, you know, be empowered, be inspired, yeah. um, to be a strong African American. I mean, at the time I was a child, but she would make me go in the mirror and say, I am somebody. Yes. And I then love after it. that, she would tell me, you don't have to keep up with the Joneses because you are one. Because my mm. last name, my maiden name is Jones. Amen. So I carry that. And like now, even though, you know, men that I've come in contact with being in those rooms, you know, they might say, you're aggressive, you're robust, you're this, you're that. And I'm just like, At this, this is point, who I am. I don't even care because it yeah. got me here. Yeah. Um, and I always, as a child, I looked for validation, but as I grew older, I didn't need it anymore. Yeah. Cause all those things that were, you know, poured into me from strong black woman and no, not just right. only strong black woman, because I've worked in markets where I've been a uh, position to work with Caucasian women or white yeah. women, um, Asian people, you know, being multicultural or just networking with people, you know, you get to see a glimpse of, okay, so this culture do it this way, that culture do it that way. What can I learn? What nugget can I take mm -hmm. and then add that to Tiffany so that I, when I do go into these rooms where I'm not expected to go in, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you can so I tell people, I don't need to be, have a seat at the table. I am the table. I know that's right, sis. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love I your mama for I'm that. Your mother that. for that. Mm -hmm. Because I do that with mine. Because yes. teenagers see, it's this all day, right? Mm -hmm. We don't know what's going on. Right. But I make myself involved. I do a mm -hmm. lot of questions. Yes. And even sometimes, like today, I've been busy. I sent them out a text. Mm -hmm. I know I'm busy today, but if you need right. anything or you need to talk about something, come to me. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm, I'm busy, right? You got but to. I feel like that was very necessary because. Mm -hmm. We deal with so much as children that we should not deal with that makes us question ourselves. So, yes. like today, mm -hmm. it wasn't big booties back then. You had to be slim. Like, uh, <laughs> right. It was not big booties. I mean, booties. So, it was you know just, you just, you was just cute. Right. Or you was either cute or you wasn't. And that was just what it was. Like, yeah. yeah. That's, well, at least that's what they tried to tell you. Right. But I mean, yeah, these days, it, the expectation of beauty is so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so important to mm -hmm. love you. You know what I mean? And you got to so, understand what beauty is. It's not yeah. what it looks. Because if you got burnt today, right. then what are you really going right. to go on right. I always tell right. my girls, beauty comes from within. Mm -hmm. it does. You have to be a pleasant, nice person. You right. have to be. Mm -hmm. And that's going to exude out. I don't care yeah. how you look. Even yeah. if you are not so cute, mm -hmm. you're going to be beautiful because you got a beautiful soul. Right. And then if you know how to talk and know how to carry yourself, and you, you're not aggressive. They're just not used to women talking. Right, talk. They're they not used to you. So right. Women is really, and I'm going to say it, mm -hmm. women is really more powerful than men. Men can't do what we do. Mm. Yeah. Man, most women can't do what the strong women do. Right. We do so much and we carry it so well because mm -hmm. why we want to involve, we want to get to where we need to get to and we want to live a certain type of way so we know the steps to take to go there and get it. Right. And we're going to grind to get it, whether... Yeah. Whatever that means, you probably tell you got up and you just did your thing, right? That doesn't mean you look how you feel, right? right. No, Absolutely. people don't. Know how to, Come on, right. I, tell them. I feel like women yeah. do run the world. I, I, mm -hmm. We do. We open up a lot of doors, and um, we haven't got our validation yet from the world, mm -hmm. but we know we yeah. are the stuff. Mm -hmm. We know it, right? We definitely we know up it so much. We care right. our men. Our men. Most men can't carry us. Most men can't mm -hmm. carry the family. They see carrying a family is this. No. As mothers, we <laughs> right. do this. Right. We nurture. Mm -hmm. We are involved. We are intensive. Mm -hmm. We are your protector as well. Most men don't have all that. That doesn't make them less than a man, but that's right. why we are so one you know what? men. That mm -hmm. actually brings me to a whole nother thing then. I think guys are going to have to define what manhood is. Right. Yeah, because... I'm going to let you have it in a minute, but get because, <laughs> no, <laughs> right. it's almost like today in this world, yeah. if you are confident within yourself, it's okay to me. Mm -hmm. It's okay to let a man stay at home and do the womanly duties because maybe you make more than him mm -hmm. and maybe you can take 
y'all farther than what he can. Right. Who Points. cares what the outside mm-hmm. world thinks? Right. This is what works for us. Mm-hmm. I just and that heard... doesn't mean that he's not a man. Right. Yeah, yeah I agree. Mm-hmm. And it's okay, right? I just heard uh Tyler Perry make a comment like that oh. on on Breakfast Club recently. It was okay. something in the sense of um women need to understand that if, if they have a good partner mm-hmm. even if they make less money than you um if they're a good person and they're loving you mm-hmm. and you love them and everything else is okay everything is good why li- why let the income itself define the right. relationship mm-hmm. that y'all have this is a whole nother spin off on topic, right? By the way, section two. But you know what that um. comes up with, and not to cut you off, is yeah. Okay, it's three of us, right? Yeah. So if I'm have say this is the girls' night and we having a good old time, and I'm telling you how great my man is, and he got this much money and this much, yeah. And you know your your man, I'm just using this as an example just lost his job and all this other stuff. So after this girl's night, you going back home like, Tiffany just said that her man doing this, 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 this. And it's like, no. Your no, that's not what totally, you don't do. Right. Yeah. That, that, your household is totally different from my whole household. Yeah. Whatever works for me, works for me. And then whatever works for you guys. But we get in those conversations, those girl nights and thinking that, okay, because I seen her drive this and she works this and this is how much money she made. This is what I'm supposed to do. Like, no, honey, right. you have to figure, you don't know what I did to get to where I am. I'm, it might look good on the outside, yes. but I have some things that I've been working through on the inside. You too, might so, have right. money in your bank account. <laughs> right. Like, Everybody exactly. can uh, dress it up nice until you have a conversation with them like, oh, wait, she not doing that. Good. Right, so, right. It can be things yeah. that, mm-hmm. that they hold back. Right. And I feel like we're trying trans, to keep up with the yes. job. Or smart, <laughs> smart to intelligent image, friends yeah. that love one another should be able to have those difficult and uncomfortable conversations right. while the other woman lifts up, not mm-hmm. as if you know what I mean? Yeah. And too many women do that. Mm-hmm. You're friends with someone, but they y'all really not friends. Yeah. I don't you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Say I that. actually <laughs> I actually can really identify with that. Um, mm-hmm. I was talking to a friend of mine recently who I actually consider a friend. And I said, you know, I'm going to stop calling people friends. I'm going to call them buddies. <laughs> Associates. You a buddy like a, way, you a buddy. <laughs> okay. And you either my big buddy or my little buddy. Oh, <laughs> big buddy. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... Friends, you a house. Hey, I'm, I'm silly. I'm goofy to the core. But y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm saying. You know. Yeah. 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 I mean, Part of, people are doing so much, like, I guess we live in a world now it's about likes, <laughs> follows, and all this other stuff. So people aren't even being their real authentic self because they're right. trying to, you know, portray something else. And it's like, no, let's get to the core and work on some things. Right. Because it's something that you might have and possess that I'm in need of. But if we don't have a real conversation, I would never get what I'm in need of yeah. from you. Okay. I was going to say, vice versa, I actually know? feel like then that's also part of womanhood then. Yeah. Yes, a lot of women being able to connect with other women, mm-hmm. have intimate conversations, mm-hmm. and really genuinely want to know them. And you have you right. can't just pick and choose parts of a person that you're going to embrace. Mm-hmm. You have to embrace the whole me. So you can't say, "Oh, I love you when we're on good terms, mm-hmm. but when we're on bad terms, I don't love you anymore." Right. Can I say something about let's that? Let's go. Let's go. So listen, let me tell you something. This is going to get deep. <laughs> no, let's get deep because this, this, this is what we do. Right. If you don't love yourself, yeah. you have to love you. If you don't love yourself, that's why you're loving others with conditions. Mm-hmm. Anybody that's loving anybody with conditions, yes. they don't love themselves. So don't talk it personal, but you got to understand the whole method behind that. Right. I right. can't give you what I don't have. Right, if I'm right. inconsistent with you, that's because I'm inconsistent with myself. Mm-hmm. So how can I treat you better than I'm treating me? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. only time somebody can love you unconditionally mm-hmm. if they are in love, love with themselves. themselves. Yeah. It, it exudes out. It's, it's almost natural, right? right. Yeah. There's no, oh, I love you today, but you pissed me off. So, right. And I know you needed a ride to the airport. So I'm not, no. Right. That's not how you operate. Right. You are still supposed to do what you are supposed to do even when you are feeling some type of way. Yep. That's yep. it. Yep. Mm-hmm. You don't get to pick and choose. You can, but and not, that in, just not means in the that, relationship. That, yeah. that, 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 mean that, that means that there, is, there isn't one. There right. is none that's conditions. And you mm-hmm. don't want nobody conditions. You want somebody that's going to be there all the time for you. Right. You don't want to have to think second. Somebody fucking a dog see you, you know, coming. <laughs> you want somebody like, come on, girl, let's go, let's go. You don't want nobody that's leaving you like, right, what, like, what, what is she, like, she going? Right. You don't right. want that. 
Right. At least for me, I don't. I yeah. I feel like um I feel like when we had this conversation um before we kind of talked a little bit about relationships and what support looks like to us um on one of our other episodes, the one yeah, we were yeah. on last. Um and I can recall us also saying in that conversation that you have to understand that people need to know their place right. when it comes yeah. to the relationship that they're building with you. Mm -hmm. My relationship with you will not look the same as my relationship with this person. And it's not going to look the same as my relationship with that, that person again, over there. Because yeah. people call that so fake. That's not being no, fair. It's just I, I, I learned how <laughs> yeah. to treat you. Mm -hmm. And we have an understanding mm -hmm. on what that looks like between you and I. Yeah. Now, if you get mad because I'm not giving you what I'm giving over here, did you earn that from me? Because then at that point in time, I feel like things start to get a little bit more complex mm -hmm. because I can't give the same thing to everybody. Then I won't have anything left to give. Right. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like mm -hmm. I can't take 10 phone calls from 10 different people and they all want to dump on me. Yeah. They all want to say, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. He doing this to me, but then you call me every day to tell me that. But you don't plan on leaving this guy at all. Mm -hmm. You don't plan on leaving this guy at all. You're not going to. And you want to stress me out. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that, sis. Right. We can talk about it when you need to talk about it. Absolutely, I'm here for you. But imagine having 10 people expect that they can just contact you and dump on you. So boundaries is a huge thing as well. Yes. And so that's what I mean by everybody's going to have their place in your life and that needs to be well communicated at some point. Mm -hmm. right? right. So that they know what the expectations are. What are we doing? What, what, what are we doing with each other? Right. Um, you might be my brunch friend. You might be my friend that wants to travel. Mm hmm. I might not take my brunch friend traveling with me. Right. That's she true. might be one of the ones that make traveling a living hell. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Come on, pack up, girl. We got to go. Right. You're not coming with me, sis. Right. I love you. I promise right. I do. But mm -hmm. we're not traveling together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, right. yeah. I explain so, the same thing to my kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My party friends. They do not know where I'm staying. <laughs> no, they just good for party. I know I'm gonna have a great time with them. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and fortunately for mm -hmm. me, they have got letting go mm -hmm. because they behaviors. But at that time, they were my party and friends. Mm -hmm. They didn't know nothing else I had going on in my life because mm -hmm. that was not their place. Right. I see. I yeah. probably got somebody that comes sit on my couch every day. But she would never go out with me. Mm -hmm. She probably gonna bore me to death. That's not her place. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm really kind of like an all around type of person. So I I did at one point have different friends for different things because mm -hmm. they serve their purpose. Right. Does that mean anything? No. This is what you gave me to work with. So this is what we're doing. So we both can be happy. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I right? think that's also part of it too. <laughs> the way that the reason why women can um be the way that we are which is really adaptable too. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We are very adaptable women. Like we, oh wait, what? I wasn't expecting a baby, but I'm right. pregnant. Guess I better get with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Guess I better get with it. Mm -hmm. Let me start planning my life from here right. on because it's no longer about me. Mm -hmm. It's about me and this kid. Right. Yeah. And I got to be the best me to be the best mommy to this kid. So let me get my shit together. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We don't have the luxury to, I mean, not saying that some don't do this, but shame on y'all. Mm -hmm. um, but we really don't have the luxury to just be like, I'm just not going to, I'm just not going to um, be the, I'm just not going to be the mother to this kid. I'm just going to be the baby mama here. You take the baby and then you raise <gasps> the baby. And then, um, you know, I'll a see the baby do. every other weekend. A lot and you, do that. And you do you. I was going to say now in this time, we see yeah, that a lot more do that. and more. It's and that's why I say, and shame on you. Yep, more and more. But um, that's that's yeah. not, that's really not, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. I really just don't agree with that. I don't either. I don't agree with it. So but I say, when I was that's younger, me. what was it? The, uh, if, the, if the mom wasn't ready uh, to, to mother that child, they would send them down south to grandma or big mama's yes, house, right? Yes, someone else, yeah. Yeah, now that's kind of changed because what grandmas aren't even 
grandmas anymore because yeah. I because I work for uh MPS. Mm -hmm. So I see a lot of people and they're like, that's my grandma. What? That look like your mama. <laughs> and that's my great grandma. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay. Wow. Make it make sense. They be, having babies, <laughs> they be having babies for the wrong reason. Try you can't have no baby to keep nobody. Right. No. Yeah. yeah. I think uh that's a whole nother subject there. Right. But it's mindset. Yeah. You have to get to a place where um those older women that were back in, when we were younger that didn't mind having those hard conversations. Now people are on the edge and they're sensitive. Yeah. Yes. Every little thing. You see, there's a movement for every little thing. I'm like, come on now. When I was a kid, that wasn't no movement. Why are these kids <laughs> yeah. so these this, this not all, mm -hmm. but this generation is weak yes like they are so traumatized by everything you yell at your kid not these are not my kids i'm talking about mm -hmm. but you yell at your kid oh my god i'm trauma you trauma mm -hmm. you 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 lucky i didn't slap you upside your head <laughs> you know what i'm saying like kids be around Here, the go, story let me slide yelling and crying make sure i got a job in my right. <laughs> <laughs> He's about slap develop trauma in their head because oh. they can't do what it is that they want to do and their whole life is flashed before this. and it's like what did you go through what yeah. Did, yeah. did something happen to you yeah. when back in our day we did anything did anything what were you what were you at the next day Back outside, yeah, back at school, telling somebody bike, something, man. having the best of our lives, can't wait to get outside. Mm -hmm. Double Dutch hanging with the older crew. And even back then, the older crew respected the younger crew. That's none of that. That's none of that today. None mm -hmm. of that today. We did anything to get in trouble. We're going to all collectively figure it out so I can come back outside the next day. Right. These kids. Yeah, <laughs> not my day. <laughs> Not my day, day, no. We was going to bed at 6 p.m. and I was oh, pissed. 6 p.m. <laughs> oh, what time did the streetlights come hey, on? Hey, hey, we was in trouble. We was all in trouble and we was going to bed early. Yeah. Okay, wasn't no one was outside I still. I don't approve of that. Well, I was the only child, so I didn't have anybody to blame except for my friend downstairs. So, yeah. Oh, my God. We got in yeah, trouble yeah. together. <laughs> so, but yeah, Society. but they don't even go outside like that. I mean, their outside is a, a definition of something else. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they I mean, they do they do. But all on the phone. And then, like, if the you had a kid, kid sure, yeah. Back then, we was all other parents was able to discipline us, right? Without the other parent not feeling no type of way. Mm -hmm. You say something to somebody else's kid these days, it's over. It's like, are you condoning this? Mm -hmm. Like. We can't say or discipline the other kids without the parents from the top of mm -hmm. Why? It takes a village to raise a kid. Uh, yeah, it definitely does. But the type of people that they're being raised around the world is so, so different now. Mm -hmm. Man, it's women that think it's okay to have their booty cheeks out. Why with they're kids. with their kids. Your booty cheeks kids. is out <sighs> at the zoo. The zoo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went to the zoo with some co-workers and our mm -hmm. kids. And booty cheeks was everywhere. Wow. That's disgusting. And that's embarrassing. And I have a teenage son who's 15. And I already know at that age, <laughs> I was just wondering. Mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, that's another, you know, that's another thing is, you know, you got to educate them on things. But mm -hmm. I know that he sees booty cheeks. I ain't dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and it irritates me when, you know, that's, this is everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, I'm like, girl, and you with your kids too? And yeah, but we that got brings to another zoo. thing. Not now it's what body positivity. So yeah. it's like, oh well, why are you looking at me like that? I'm, 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 you know, expressing myself, and it's like, all right. Why do people think that's like no? <laughs> and that's not body shaming oh, either. Right. Yeah, you yeah, have to be. Mm -hmm. I hate when people. Oh, why are you body shaming her? No, you cannot. You can't. You shouldn't want to come to certain mm -hmm. places looking like that. Right. right. You have. You should want to dress the part for your respect because of a dude. I'm just saying, listen, mm -hmm. if a dude come up and grab that, is he wrong? Yes, he should keep his hands to himself. But you are inviting him to do that. You mm -hmm. are putting it all out there, saying that it's okay. I'm not saying that women, it's okay for men to just grab on people, you know, coming in mm -hmm. their space. But what do you think you're doing? What type of looks are you think you're attracting? You I ain't really attracting no man in no, like, no respect. You're right. I feel like, yeah, <laughs> there, is a, there is a time and place. Mm -hmm. As a woman, here we go, back to womanhood. And I'm going to keep bringing it back. <laughs> Roll it back. Rolling it back. Right. As a woman, there is a place in time, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, and that's why every woman defines womanhood differently mm -hmm. because, honestly, that's just what it is. Right. But my opinion, it is my show, and I will talk 
about how I feel. And if you don't like it, eh. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> but I feel like we decide, mm -hmm. you know, when that is, when we choose to express ourselves, we decide when that is. But come on now, when kids is around, I just feel like it's common sense. Right. Um, it's yeah. common sense. But like I keep going back to this. When are those women back in the day that come, hey, baby, pull your skirt down or up? Mm -hmm. Put this on. We don't have those people. I got that no, we don't. We inner don't. me, but you know, you you yeah. start trying to buck up. I'm gonna have to bring the old me out. So I just kind of be like, mm -hmm. mm. I yeah. don't say nothing because these they they bring that other yeah. side out of you. Oh, you absolutely. have to act ignorant only because you are trying to have them respect themselves and other mm -hmm. people around them. It has become a time where. Even the fashion, even like the way that we, the, the way that women and girls dress, even little girls, mm -hmm. the style of the clothes are starting to look so alike right. that the four-year-old is wearing what the 12-year-old can wear and the 12-year-old is wearing what the 27-year-old can wear and the 27-year-old is wearing what the 38-year-old mm -hmm. woman can wear and the 40-something-year-old woman is wearing what she could wear. And it's just going down the line <clears throat> in a sense to say, just to say that everything just looks the same. You there, It used to be, you could tell who was what age right. based yeah. off of how they dressed. Yeah. You can't tell anymore just from looking mm -hmm. because their hair is like our hair. They're wearing nails too, and they're getting their makeup done. And the fashion is the same and they're listening to the same music as us mm -hmm. and they're exposed to the same technology. There's nothing that is hidden. There's nothing that is sacred. Um, it's all out in the open and it's almost as if it's more forced on them to grow up. Mm -hmm. It's more forced on people to find their identity a lot sooner. And I think that's why a lot of kids are crashing in school when it comes to defining who they are, finding their identity. Mm -hmm. I think that's why there's more suicides. I think that's why there's more bullying. I think that's why um, we have more people getting cosmetic surgery. It really boils down to life is just such a big open boom yeah. at every single age that unless you are taking control over what is being seen and what is being heard, you just you are putting yourself at the mercy of what you choose to to put in your body. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's important to censor what you listen to. It's important to yes. censor what you watch. Don't watch TV shows where women are kicking each other's asses and they're black women and they're constantly fighting each other. Don't listen to music where uh, women are identified as, as hoes. Right. And it's all cool to, you know, talk about what your, your genitals look like. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, we live in a world where stars are thriving because they said the most damnedest things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's really interesting. It's very, very connected. Mm -hmm. I used to be like that, like not me, but I used to be like my children. Mm -hmm. They couldn't listen to words of cussing. They couldn't. They couldn't do a lot, right? But when they went here or here, I couldn't control it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, could you not do this? Could you not do this? This is my car. I gonna, you know. So what I chose to do was I said, this is what I'm gonna do. You know that you can't listen to this. Mm -hmm. You know these things on here that you should never ever repeat, or you cannot display, right? Yeah. Or you cannot do. Yeah. So what I started doing is the stuff that's out in the world that's bad and all that, yep. I start introducing them to that. You want to know why? Because, okay, so when you are in school and you're trying to find yourself, you got a mess head user, you got a gangbanger, and you got a nerd, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to tell my son that he can't be friends with all of them because that, that doesn't mean that they're not good people, right? 
I'm going to teach him how to conduct himself, how to know who he is mm -hmm. and how to move out the way when they start doing this and he started doing that. That doesn't mean that you cannot be friends with somebody that's not like you. Mm -hmm. What it means is you are true to yourself because if you are true to yourself, they are going to respect you. Right, and when they right. start indulging in drugs and, and, and gang activity, they're going to leave you where you at because they got respect for you. So I start bringing that into their world so they can know how to handle themselves when they are in those type of situations because while I was um safeguarding them mm -hmm. and they got out into the world it's gonna be like oh hey okay mm -hmm. not knowing that he's not really supposed to touch me if I don't want him to touch me right. or he's not supposed to do this when I don't want him to touch me no you got the right to say no yes so you I start inviting mm -hmm. that in mm -hmm. so they can know how to act right you're preparing them mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so and, and that's kind of what I that's that's that is what I do yeah yeah, I think that's great. So you they won't have be to be that. a follower. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Like, oh, I'm so green. I'm, I'm. I guess I'll try it. Mm -hmm. No, you <laughs> yeah, no. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that that's what I started doing. I figured that that, uh, you know, would help, and they know the consequences. Right. Right? So I started exposing that. Yeah, exposing yeah. them into what they should not be doing. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. And I think I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, it's kind of like a reverse psychology yeah. kind of thing. It's like, um, you know. Wait, now y'all don't go twisted and say right. that she said that she be smoking and drinking with her kids. That's not right. What she that said. ain't That's what she not said. What I <laughs> said. <laughs> don't talk to me. Don't do it. <laughs> I got your back. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's not what she said. Not what I said. She ain't say that. Okay. I'm looking at y'all yeah, like, right. like, oh, y'all agree? <laughs> no, with uh, don't play with her like that. No, now. no, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, that makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. Is they gotta they gotta be exposed to the real world? Absolutely. It's kind of like when you look at, so when I was growing up, my dad was a police officer, worked for District 7, right across the street. Right. I was, wow. I <laughs> police officer, mm -hmm. you know, and um, we got exposed to all type of stuff. The D.A.R.E. program, Guff, the, the, the Gruff, the Guff, whatever the yeah. hell his damn name was, the dog. <laughs> the dog. Um, <laughs> you know, and Y'all remember that stuff? Yeah, wow. Yeah, that type of Look, stuff sticks with you forever. Little, uh, song for Dare. We had a song for uh, for uh, elementary school. What I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> I know y'all was way like, come on. <laughs> but I was exposed to that stuff. And at a very young age, I understood that my dad had a very important job and that it was dangerous. Mm -hmm. And I understood that it was a possibility he wouldn't come home. And I knew that very, very young. Right. So um, for me, I was the oldest sister in our household. Okay. So that made me overprotective of my siblings. Mm -hmm. That made me overprotective of my mother. Anytime my mother would leave, I wanted to go with her. Okay. Like that's how I was with my mom. Um, I just felt like she was better with me around her. Mm -hmm. Um. And something tragic happened when we were kids. My mom was shot. Um, and we had to rely on the help of our neighbors. Mm -hmm. You know, my dad wasn't all the way together mm -hmm. when it happened. He was going through it. And so I, even in those moments, I felt like I needed to step up. Right. So yeah. I got boobs now. I'm, I'm the woman of the house while my mom's not here. And I'm the oldest daughter. Mm -hmm. So... If my dad ain't doing well, I need to go make a plate for me and my siblings. Right. Yeah. Um, I need to put my feelings down. I need to bury my feelings mm -hmm. and allow everybody around me to feel how they feel because I'm the big sister mm -hmm. until my mom came back from the hospital. Um, and so I dealt with that. You know, I dealt with that. And even now, I still feel like, you know, I have to protect. Um, and so it took me a while to be like, that was never your place. That wasn't, you were supposed to still just be a kid, mm -hmm. but it, I felt like it kind of put me in a position to grow up a little bit sooner. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, that's so tragic situations in your life can also put you in positions to grow the hell up. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I agree. Mm -hmm. So, um, that. And I'm, I thank God. I thank God. Mama, I don't know if you're watching, but I know you will eventually. <laughs> She's like, well, I, don't know. I love my mama. She just had her birthday September 18th. Right. I just want to say happy birthday, happy birthday, mama. <laughs> it is your birthday month, Miss Barbara. 
Miss Barbara. She probably like, that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> but she is still here with us. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Yes, absolutely. I would not be the woman I am today if it wasn't for my mom. So absolutely womanhood. Right. Yeah. Um it 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 transitions and evolves the way it does, depending on who you can who you can have in your life too. Mm -hmm. You know, who is willing to take on some of those fires for you um while you cool down for a moment. Mm -hmm. That matters too. So, it does. Mm -hmm. so yeah, <laughs> you think about no, not for stuff. me. It's just you know, when you mm -hmm. hear women say, Oh, I don't need a break for my kids, you're lying. You right. are lying. You cannot yeah. sit here and tell me that I don't care. All kids get on your mm -hmm. nerves. Oh, I don't care. I, I don't care. They do. Right. That's just what they do. So, women that say that, then be the ones that having that breakdown because you mm -hmm. do, it's okay. Yeah. You don't understand. It's okay to ask for help. Mm -hmm. It's okay to say, I'm not dealing with this right now. Right. It, that, it's okay. It's mm -hmm. actually normal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a form of self-care. Right. And a lot of women don't do that. Yeah. For themselves. I don't care if it's walking around a block, leaving your phone at home on a couch and, and whatever, mm -hmm. you know, as long as you are letting go, mm -hmm. Getting a peace of mind for that moment. Yep. Because you need it. And then right. get back to why you do it so hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, you got to collect yourself. Yeah. Right. Find some time for yourself. Yeah. Most definitely. You definitely do. Mm -hmm. Tell them, hey, not, not right now. I've been doing it a lot more lately. I told myself, I said, you know what? I need to refocus. <laughs> There's too many distractions. Refocus. I feel like also part of womanhood is mm -hmm. telling yourself, I don't have to do everything that is presented to me. I am not obligated to participate in all these things because at this time I am trying to achieve a goal. Mm -hmm. And so I realize I have to sacrifice those fun times and some of those different things that are going on mm -hmm. because there's something bigger for me. That's the point I am in right now. The stage in my life is you have to focus. You need to refocus because all those other things are going to be there later. Yes. You're not missing out on nothing. You're progressing. Mm -hmm. You have to move forward. So even that, sacrifice. Sacrifice is a huge part of womanhood. Yes. And if them your people, they're going to be there. Yeah. Right. Your people your people is going to be there. So they're going to be not, there. That's just not Matter of fact, what? You can't go out? Mm -hmm. I'm about to grab a bottle of wine and pull up to your <laughs> crib and we about to play charades. You know what I mean? Like, yes. Stuff like Make that. You know, I feel like I'm learning that now. I know we were talking about the definition of womanhood, but learning that now, yeah, um, because I've always felt like I had to overcommit and mm. always show up for people, all yeah, the time. that was me, and then that caused anxiety mm -hmm. to seep in, depression to seep in, and I'm just like, wait a minute, why I'm blowing up? <laughs> Well, I'm sweating and panicking. I've never had these issues right. like this, right? But it's Sit down somewhere, Tiffany. Take some time for you. Yeah. And people show up for you. No. And, and that's that's and what I had. That's to, why I stopped. That's why I was like, uh uh. Yeah. I said I was the same way. Like I gotta look at the honey. Man, listen, if I feel like it, I'll be in the building. Yeah. If I feel like there's someone I want to do mm -hmm. because it's not a tip for tap, but it's like if they don't ever show up for you, right? Not even a tad bit away. Yeah. Why am I showing up for you? Right. Who are right. you? You're not better than me. But I had to learn that. You know, I like, shouldn't be more loyal to you than you are to me. We right. We share that equally, right? Mm -hmm. We're I supposed agree. to celebrate each other equally, right? Absolutely. So no, we're supposed to. People have to stop following the train of what they think they're supposed to do because that person's status is up here and mm -hmm. you haven't made it there yet. Yep. You right. are reaching towards. Yep. No. I but actually... Um, yourself out. <laughs> I just seen a post. Uh, was that today? Either yesterday or today. Somebody said... Um, People expect you to um, to celebrate them mm -hmm. when it's their turn. But when it is not their turn, they're not celebrating as hard for others. <laughs> and we oh, see it yeah. a lot today. And it used to really, really bother me. Like, for example, I, I think the topic specifically was birthdays. Mm -hmm. And I'm a huge birthday person. Like I take my birthday very seriously because the whole month, right? Why would I take every <laughs> other holiday series, but not my mm -hmm. own? Come on. My birthday is my holiday. So don't play in my face about my birthday. Mm -hmm. That's my attitude. However, <laughs> 
I don't care anymore mm -hmm. who makes it and who doesn't, unless it ain't my mains. Right. Yeah. So like, I can invite twenty people, but as long as my main five mm -hmm. are present, I'm cool. Okay. It doesn't mean that, uh, like she said, I'm not gonna play no tit for tat. It's just. I'm going to be a little bit more relaxed on how I prioritize other events. Right. And it will be determined mm -hmm. off of how I feel and not who you are. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. yeah. Because I feel like some things that we choose to celebrate is because of who people are in our lives and mm -hmm. what they bring us. And then other things that we choose to celebrate in our lives are because we choose to be a part of the celebration. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be a part of the celebration. If I'm not feeling part. Right. Mm -hmm. If I'm not feeling the part, I'm not going to come pretend I am the part. Right. So, um, cause that's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And that brings me anxiety too. Yeah. being somewhere. I know I have no business being. Right. <laughs> so yeah. yes. I gotta speak on that. <laughs> I do. I am one of those people. You have to, you have to know the love and love to hate. Right. Mm -hmm. And I know, I know me, mm -hmm. so I'm okay with that. Like, I don't, like, if you have somebody else right there that had these thoughts, I, I don't care clear of nothing. Yeah. You want to know why? Because that's our, th those are they thoughts. They don't know me. They right. get to know. Somebody that know me will <laughs> right. tell them, like, oh, no, I don't have yeah. to speak for myself no more. And guess what? I'm, I'm going to give a huge shout out to my coach, Mikael. Shout you out, Mikael. Oh, well, hey. <laughs> she is dope, by the way. Listen. She is dope, by the way. Let me tell you something. Everything that she presented to me, everything yeah. that she told me, mm -hmm. I see her doing her own thing. Yes. So there, was, there was nothing she told me that I didn't see her move and groove, right? right? And when I tell you she showed up for me, mm -hmm. she showed up for me. Another beautiful, intelligent, smart, strong woman. Yes, I love and it. And me up and coming. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? She took care of me. Mm -hmm. She's brushing my hair. She's making sure my jacket fits while I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. Celebrity status all the way. Those are the type of people that you want to be around. Yes. Taking care of you, making yes. sure they show up for you. Mm -hmm. Every event I ever had since she been in my life, I don't care if she stayed for the entire event, she made sure she showed sure. up. I love that. Even I'm when I said I'm going to give her something, no. What is the price? Mm -hmm. I know that. I'm clapping. Right. She, <laughs> yes. Look <laughs> when I tell you, when I tell you she, because it was always mm -hmm. like, you know, Lucas has no face. That's my baby. And I've yes. been, we've been going strong. But, you know, it's been times where I had that doubt. Mm -hmm. She like, no. You perform if it's a million people in there, even if it's one person in that room. And that means a mm -hmm. lot. That means a lot. And when I tell you I did, this year has been the best for Lucas Has No Face. I love the that. best. Do you hear me? Congratulations. I some structure and some help, <laughs> but she came in and she put that together. Okay. Yes, girl. You know, Anita. Anita, that's my girl. She on my team as well. Mm -hmm. Strong Deep team Tuck, matters. <laughs> Boogie. DJ Boogie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they show up for me and that, that is my team that I am building and they've been they've been rocking with me a lot. So That's awesome. I girl. love y'all. <laughs> I love it. I, I love, love it. But yeah, like you have to have people that's around mm -hmm. for you. Yes. You up here doing something to get you together. Right. There's too many women that just stay. Yeah. And be like, what you doing? Or don't say nothing uh, at all. Right. And girl, like, look at it. No, baby, mm -hmm. what you here for? Right. Yeah. You know, it's okay to speak. It's okay mm -hmm. to be boisterous. It's yes. okay. I just mm -hmm. said this on my last episode. It's okay. yeah. Why are I we just said this? We all, even if, if if you're not black, we all in the same room. Mm -hmm. Hello, how you doing? I might need you for something. Right. You might need me yes. for something. Speak I might up. need you connected in LA. <laughs> yeah. We might need each other. And those are the type of alliances you should have and women should want to build. Instead Absolutely. of just because your circle is not gonna take you everywhere. They they just sure. not. They're not. They're, they're not. They're, they're just, not. And they're not gonna, gonna they're not gonna be by your side every mm -hmm. step of the way. Because sometimes what happens is people have to prioritize certain circumstances. Yeah. So, you know, you have to, sometimes you got to work with what you got. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Man. So, but and if it's always team, you team, you, then yeah. not your people. Right. Your people should be able to tell you, like, I'm wrong with you right now. Mm -hmm. Behind the closed door, you know you was wrong. Right, you exactly. Know, right don't you together. ever do no stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Team you, team you all day. Them not your people. Them definitely not your folks. Not your and people. then they're able to do it in love. That's another thing. Right. Our right. approach have to be with love. Yes. Don't get that catty petty. 
Yes. I, you know, I used to rock with the pettiness. <laughs> like, shut it's it off. Super petty. Cut it off know? But, now. You know, now we get to the point where it's like, okay, let me pull you to the side and let's have a conversation. Yeah. First of all, are you okay? <laughs> like, right. How are you I feeling? I think that's, you that's, that's today, important. You know? That's important. You don't ask, like, small questions. It, right. it could be anything. Right. Slight triggers. I think that's important. Mm-hmm. That's imp- that is so important. Mm-hmm. Like, before you assume something about me right. or before you take it to the next fucking level, mm-hmm. did you check on me? Yes. Did you check on me? Because you don't know what I'm experiencing. And I was just saying this on my last show is mm-hmm. I'm not someone who likes to bring my misery to other people. Right. I will hide away mm-hmm. until I can be my best self. Mm-hmm. And until I can get out of whatever funk I'm in, but right. I'm not going to spread that amongst others who I love. That's mm-hmm. just not my character. But if I'm in a position and you see I'm in a position and something seems off with me, mm-hmm. did you check or you just was like, right. Everything or just start running with it. Like, you. you know, Tiffany did, did it like, no, everything is not always about you. Right. Like this, this is not your norm. If you was rude At, to me, right. Mm-hmm. Right. I would wait when it's the appropriate time, mm-hmm. and I will come for you as far as checking on you because I that's not your normal behavior. Like, right? Did I offend you? Did I say something that you didn't right. like? I have to make sure you're comfortable in my space because that's what I want to know. Like, right. you and then you be like, you know what? It wasn't even that. But people don't do that. They don't they do that. Rah, 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 like, yep. And then you're gonna get rah 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 back because mm-hmm. I'm already rah 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 already. Right. Right? right? People don't do that. They feel like they up here. And how dare you? Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, bring that down a little bit. It's okay right. to be feminine. Mm-hmm. It's okay to love on another one, like, yeah. baby. And then we brush it off. So many women leave other women with hatred and, and grudges for no reason. For they no can't reason. even tell you why they got drama in the first place. Right. Well, I don't like her. Well, what did she do? Yep. I just don't like her. Yeah, well, don't what did she it. do? Yep. <laughs> and can't even explain it. <laughs> what like, did she what? Do? Or, even, or even in situations where... This is what I really, really don't like is don't be trying to recruit other people to not like me. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, where, the clap, where you got the clap hands? Come on, clap them hands. Yeah, can, can we clap for that? <laughs> I don't know how we got here. Right. <laughs> but we're here. You read something I can't see. What right. What, you, what we looking at over here? Looking at. Looking I'll be at. hoping to be some comments. We got comments or anything, sir? Tone, if you're back there. I don't know. <laughs> um, you done fell out. <laughs> but yeah, don't recruit the people. Though. Don't recruit people. And even if you do tell, I'm, I'm the type of person. Even if you say you didn't know her, but you knew mm-hmm. her, like you know, I had crossed paths, and you was just so nasty about her. I'm like, okay, you know, right. But I need my own experience. My own her. experience. So then, when I have my own experience, I'm like, like, what happened? Like, she seemed real cool to me. Yeah. You know, and maybe whatever your thought process mm-hmm. is, it probably will change. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But I don't care who tell me about what. I oh, have to go. see. I gotta learn you. I have to. Me. I have to see myself. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. That's also huge. Whoa, whoa. We got uh, comments up the woo. Hey, the woo. Where's she at? I, I, we got it, boo. Hey, <laughs> come on, sis. Emily Jones. Emily definitely Brown. are strong. Y'all do a lot. Oh, yeah, so true. Oh, I'm just gonna let y'all stay. Oh, I'm just gonna let y'all. Steph, I got so much to say about this, but can't type that fast. It's a whole new world out here. (laughs) Perception is power. Mm -hmm. As a mom of a seven-year-old, no way in hell will she be expressing shit (laughs) until she is grown. Mm -hmm. Dress accordingly. Would I wear that to work? No. So you ain't wearing that to school. She's not there right now, but I'm preparing. Hoping that... Hoping that me establishing those personal values ahead of time mm-hmm. will influence her more than fitting into the crowd. I love that, Steph. I'm going to clap for that. I'm covered up. Absolutely. Like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I still mm-hmm. feel a certain time if I'm somewhere, you know, and they older, I'll be like, oh, I feel kind of, you know. Right. Can't yeah. be around my elders. Yeah. Don't cuss around them either. Right. Looking all snazzy and all. <laughs> Nope, we ain't doing it. We ain't doing it. Nope, ain't gonna be no. I'm sorry, Grandma. Right. <laughs> somebody gonna tell them right. now that we have social media. Like, you know, I saw so and so. You know, she was wearing that kind of top, like, that one top. <laughs> right. <laughs> but no, I'm not modest mm-hmm. either. So don't get it twisted. I like me some style, some fashion. I like to dress. Don't get it twisted. I ain't approved. But 
when it comes to being around people, other people's children, please, 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 please just, you know, think about it. Right. If you go into the zoo, come on. Come on. Come on. Even a grocery sure. store, really? Them little bitty booty shorts, the ones where your booty Pajamas. popping out the bottom. <laughs> Pajama shorts. Wow. I see the, well. We Y'all make me sick. The ones doing that. I said, can you take that off, please? <laughs> take that off. But that's, 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 that's the thing. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> It is a thing, she though. Can't kill me. Okay, so listen. That's Don't funny. Me, you there. walk out with bonnets? No, no. Uh -oh. But I, I know how embarrassing that could be. So, so I'm driving. <laughs> so I'm driving oh, my other a car. Together. No, Come it's on, the truth. So I, I, I'm driving my other car, right? My mm -hmm. other car is a fixed rubber, right? Okay. So my main car needs to be fixed, okay. right? <laughs> my daughter goes to Kennedy Middle School. To, or no. Like, like that out she goes to a school in her right? right okay she gets in a car like mom i said what she was embarrassed right i said i get it because i'll be embarrassed by driving this car too sometimes so if you want to tell me to park over there i get it she mm -hmm. was like yeah mom please can you do it this i just didn't want to say nothing yeah. but i just said it because <coughs> about the body mm -hmm. like so i know my daughter is embarrassed by me pulling I am too, but it's right. from A to B. Right, right. As soon as I, I see them, me, come through the door. She, I take it off. And I was like, so you be embarrassed? She was like, yeah. I'll be like, what you be like? Like, dang, she put up. She be like, yeah. I'll be like, I feel you. I was <laughs> like, <laughs> Get it? Like, right. why would you go into a school with your kids and with with a bonnet on your head? Pajama pants. Pajama man, pants. Titties popping out. But I'm never doing that. Right. They doing it, man. They doing it. And the most yeah. you get is a pony. It's like you're repeating it, and like with my approach to it, when I tell these parents this, because I like I try to lead with love. Yeah. Because my thing is, I don't want anybody correcting me, and it's like, ah, like who? Right. Talking to. <laughs> so right. I was like, you know, we don't want to. um feed into the stereotype. They already think that we don't know as much as they do. So at least come in looking presentable because your babies are looking at you because I yeah. with K3. So I'm like, take that off. I'm like, y'all got full bundles under it anyway. Like, show that hair. Yeah. Do it. And they're like, Miss cool. Tiffany, you crazy. Cool. <laughs> and then they'll, they'll think about it like, okay, well, she didn't come at me crazy. So let me just go ahead and take it off. And then next day they come in, hey, Miss Tiffany. I'm like, hey, I can do that too. <laughs> Yeah, like I got some <laughs> hair. Don't don't be swinging that hair because no, I'm bald. Yeah. Each one's <laughs> right. right. You know but I, that's why I said we got to get back to women. If you're out there and you uh, can lead with love and correcting us, yeah. <laughs> please do it. Don't yeah. be afraid to do it because a lot of these young mothers they're looking for you know solid, strong women to help them out, mm -hmm. but they're so scared to acts because we get into that mode of being prideful right uh because somebody may have done something or said something that was negative so i'm like i'm not even gonna fool with her because we have people yeah. that are like that you know be yeah. nasty you like right. girl why you acting like that? You're right you know you lose everything mm -hmm. good around you being pride your pride yeah. gonna take you nowhere sure nowhere gonna be that's true stand still mm -hmm. stuck that's true absolutely that's true. yeah seriously people with that pride like you gotta not to say that, but you have to hate yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, how can you have so much pride when you can talk about it? Mm -hmm. yeah. People that you say you love and it's your family that you're supposed to talk about it. Right. Why are you keeping that hurt in if somebody did mm -hmm. hurt you? Yeah. yeah, we have a voice, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should be able to communicate and articulate with Express understanding, it. even if you agree to disagree, at least right. you was hurt. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. That, I don't that pride will yeah. not take you anywhere. anywhere. I and do. I cannot stand the people that say, I don't need no help. Yes, yes you, you do. do. <laughs> I'm millions looking at you and billions have right. had help for a team to even mm -hmm. get there. You ain't going nowhere by yourself. Right. I don't care who that may mm -hmm. be. Yep. That's the wrong business mindset if you don't need no help. Yes, you, you do. Yes, you you do. need a whole team. You definitely need a team. You need people who are riding with you mm -hmm. and people who you can rely on and you can, you can reciprocate energy mm -hmm. with. Um, that's that's a, a huge, a huge right. piece of your foundation. Yes, because a lot of people piece. won't understand your vision. They're right. like, she don't know what she's doing. What she? Why she always right. doing this? Or why and she always doing people. that? Right. Mm -hmm. Ain't your people cool. And you have to learn that as a woman. Okay. That's true. Such and such can't, can't, can't go with you, like you said. Your brunch friends can't go <laughs> out of town. Right. Yeah. And I had to learn that too. I think about like a personal experience. Uh, I had a really close friend. She would travel the world, mm -hmm. and I'm like, why she never asked me to go on those trips? And I finally just asked her, like, why? Why you never asked me? I'm like, we're both Aquariuses. Yeah. So, I mean, we usually celebrate our birthday together when you're not. 
So why you never asked me? So at the time, I was over 400 pounds. Okay. And her mindset was, if I know I'm doing like rock climbing and we're doing these long tours where we're walking, I'm not going to ask you to come because you're going to be tired. You're going to be, you know, have an attitude. You're not going to do that. And I was like, oh, now it makes sense. I'm thinking you just don't want me to go because you think I don't have any money. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, now that makes sense because you're a friend. You're thinking about my health and my well-being. Yeah. But me, I'm thinking you just don't want me there yeah. because you just want that experience with your other friends by yourself. Well, let if, me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Would you rather have a person just ask you, say, hey, I'm going to plan this trip. It, these are some of the things I want to do on the trip. Would you be interested? Would you rather somebody do that or would you rather have them just make that decision for you and not include you? N well, now I'm in the position where I can book the trips and get the commission off of it. I thanks know to, that's right. Thanks, thanks to our coach. Look. <laughs> so, then you gotta ask I'm going to clap. Well, I'm going to book my own trip now. <laughs> I'm going to clap. Because book one day y'all going to book trip, a trip for right? me. Right? Uh, a whole excursion. Like, I, <laughs> do you want to go on a trip now with me? Huh? No. But would right. you, if that wasn't the asked. case? Yeah. Ask you yeah. Don't ask make me, my decisions yeah. for me. Yeah, Let don't take it away from me. Let me tell you no. Yeah. Ask me. I don't care ask if I told you I had a million things to do. Right. Ask me. Yeah. At least ask. So I can yeah. feel like I'm included, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And see, then that I feel like now that was a lesson. That was mm -hmm. a moment to teach that person. Right. Hey, but this is you didn't have to make that choice right. for me. I understand. And I appreciate you caring enough to to attempt mm -hmm. to smooth the the situation over, but please ask. Right. And I yeah. think she wasn't trying to hurt my feelings yeah. because that's that's a hard you know conversation yeah. to have with your friend. Like yeah. All right, but I'm like, okay. Well, I appreciate it now, but like, don't take my decision from me. Right. Don't, <laughs> don't, yeah, my, right. From me. don't make my choice. Yeah, you know, take my choice away from Just me, you so. asking that one time mm -hmm. is going to set the tone for however mm -hmm. other, other many trips after that, right. you know, yeah. based off the circumstances. So, you know, but I, I understand mm -hmm. not everybody knows how to handle circumstances right, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they need to learn. Right. You, and yep. that's the opportunity for them to, to learn. Learn you. you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I feel like unco un uncomfortable conversations is well needed more often mm -hmm. right at the moment because why why should I go home because you made me feel some type of way right. and I'm mad and you still happy? Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> what? No, hey, hey, listen, we at this event. <laughs> Can I talk to you when you don't? Yeah, listen, mm -hmm. you really made and these are my right. feelings, so mm -hmm. my feelings are. Validated, yeah, yeah they validated. matter. Mm -hmm. But I just want you to know that you made me feel some type of way, and mm -hmm. is it, you know, where we going from here? Because I feel some type right. of way. You know, these are my feelings. Mm -hmm. Your, my feelings can be wrong. She probably didn't even mean it that way, but this is how mm -hmm. I feel. feel. Yeah. So don't invalidate my feelings mm -hmm. and don't take away from how mm -hmm. I feel. I want you to address it so we can move on. Yeah. And people do that all the time. Go home yeah. pissed. Yeah. When they could have just been like, hey. That's that pride. You ain't getting nowhere with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a communicator. I don't care. You <laughs> she, I hey, feel like you go no. I'm telling you. And and and, <laughs> and like you said, because mm -hmm. the see there's different perception. Perception is huge. And that's yeah. what causes people to act mm -hmm. and do things the way they do things because of how they perceive the world. And they look at how they would want to be treated right. and they assume mm -hmm. that that's what you would want to be treated mm -hmm. as. And so that's another thing is realizing that people aren't us. Right. Yeah. People aren't going to move like us mm -hmm. and we can't expect us mm -hmm. from them. Um, so that's that's another thing that that I'm discovering because I, one of my favorite things to say would be like, because I wouldn't do that to you. Ooh, right. My, <laughs> well, they could say, well, I'm not I said you, that for right? a long time. Right. They do. I don't understand. I would never. Mm hmm. That's why I feel like well, damn, that didn't get me very far. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just to say. Like, and now oh what? Right. You know? So that has no power. Seriously, yeah. no power, yeah. no bearings on anyone's actions, decisions, feelings, mm -hmm. the way they value themselves, or how they're going to behave. Um. So yeah, mm -hmm. interesting. We had a lot. We had a lot to discuss today. <laughs> And it is 844. Sure is. We really uh we oh. really took it to the next level oh. with this conversation. I'm this one, I'm happy. It's a, it's a much needed class. conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was long. It was long. Well, we might have to do a part two. Part yes, this was great. <laughs> I love you ladies. Two a lot. We definitely yeah. Yeah. yes. Y'all are welcome to come back anytime. Thank you. Thanks anytime. for having us. Absolutely, absolutely. I thought this was great. I it, I just was inspired to talk about it. I too have a lot going on. Mm. I'm a mom, you know, I've got the podcast. I've got my own business. Um, 
And I also do Coach My Growth every quarter. I'm actually planning for Coach My Growth right now, October 15th, 2 to 6.30 p.m. here at Sherman Phoenix. Um, if you have not gotten your ticket or registered, get your ticket and register. They're free. And the first 20 people who signed up got free Coach My Growth tote bags. On behalf of Fight Triple A, um, Fight Triple A, shout out to you for being a sponsor for Coach My Growth. That's uh, ran by my girl Tashima Dean. Um, I'm going to clap for you, sis. I appreciate that. I appreciate your support. Um, so we are really working together. Um, also, shout out to the rest of the Coach My Growth crew. Um, again, if you have not gotten your tickets, get your tickets. It's free. Come shop. It's free. Right. Come Hurry shop. Um, come meet some really dope coaches. Um, as y'all kept hearing these two say, they have a coach. Right. Coach Mikhail is their coach. She's not on the Coach My Growth team, but she is a coach, which means... <laughs> People need their coaches and they, they love do. their they sure coaches yeah, they and do. they appreciate what their coaches do for them. And, and, and it really is um, impactful on your life. So if you do not have a coach and you're looking for a coach or if you're stuck or if you're stuck, can't make a decision, mm -hmm. don't yeah. know which way to go. Yeah. They make sense. Of all of you that. just want right. some insight from someone else. Again, the event is free. So just show your face. Um, and um, one of our coaches or several of our coaches will be there to, to have a conversation with you and show you what they have going on and how they can help you or even people you love. All right. So I just had to throw that in there because I have been super, super busy with planning that. Um, <laughs> that's where a lot of my time is going these days mm -hmm. is planning this event that is about 25 days away. And that's just me guessing, but it's close. Um, so shout out to, to the team. CMG. If I had a if I had some kind of hand sign, I would do it. I thought you were about to uh, say that. <laughs> but I know. Oh my God. Oh but I my know. God. We gonna have to create like a little secret handshake, like a little yeah, I don't know. Look, somebody already asked him for part two. We got I part love two it. Part two? Yeah, yes. Right. Hey Steph, maybe you come on. Maybe you come on, Steph. Give Steph us, Brown. Give us a manhood definition so hey. we can pick it apart. Ooh. We do need. Ooh. You know, that so wouldn't be a bad idea. Apart. If there That's are good. any guys tuning in and want to come on and talk about manhood, we can make that a thing. That'd be right. cool. And have the women here and, 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 and the men, and we can kind of, you know, hash that out. Like, what does that look like for y'all? Because I'm curious. Because men, um, they've been on a roll on social media these days. <sighs> so clearly the perception of manhood is not what it used to be. Right. Um, and all women want to know. We're curious. We're curious. Mm -hmm. What are y'all? How do y'all move? And um, you know, what y'all perception is on life too. So specifically, us women want to know. So right. yeah, we, we do part know. two with maybe two of y'all. Right. We'll figure it out. So we can take the notes, take it back to the women, and, yeah. and get us together. Yeah. Right. <laughs> get us right together. She says right. she's gonna text me. All right, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> we can make this happen, sis. You know how we roll. All right. So uh, I just want to say I love you, ladies. Love you too. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Um, man, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy how we can come together and do this. And every time I swear, I swear I come out with something new. Mm -hmm. Um, so y'all really are insightful, really Thank insightful you. women, That's very, nice. very we wise are. women, beautiful women, inspiring <laughs> women. For lupus, I can support. <laughs> and you do, I, I wanted one. you to actually talk about oh, that. Okay. Can you can you drop that in there All for right. us? So the week before your event, yes. um, October 7th, uh Nami Walks. Um, if you're looking to support a team, support my team. I am an overcomer of anxiety and depression. I say daily because it's it's a continuing cycle, continuous thing. Yeah. Um, and I am the captain of Team I Persevere. I love so it. That's my brand. I Persevere. I love it. So. I love it. I'm gonna clap for you, sis. And we'll be at Milwaukee County. Yeah. Milwaukee County Zoo. I'm excited for that. Yes, I was going to say, do me a favor. Yeah, do me a favor, send it to me, and I will go ahead and put it on there. Okay. Thank um, you so much. Yes, and tag me in anything you want to tag me in, and it'll go right to my timeline. Um, but, yeah, that is it for tonight's show. This is Minding My Own Podcast. I'm your host, Kenda. This is Savannah. This is Tiffany. And we out. Yeah. Have a great night. See you. <laughs>